Well, hello everybody. I am doing this a little later than I normally would because I was watching the Rays walk off against the Red Sox. So I'm fe feeling pretty good. Now I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind lately and a lot of other reptile owners' minds lately, um, at least here in Florida. But basically we keep on hearing all this doom and gloom about the Lacey Acts and what they actually mean for the reptile community and you know, animal community in general. Now I keep on hearing about this, but I didn't exactly know what the actual wording or what the actual legislation was. I just kept on taking people's words for it. So I kind of figured I'd do like, uh, you know, in layman's terms, what's kind of going on here. So the Lacey Act actually started in 1900. And at first it was only to ban the interstate travel of four species mongoose, fruit bats, European starlings, and the English sparrow. Basically, it lists injurious animals. Injurious animals are basically animals that can do damage to whatever habitat they are in and can survive long enough to reproduce and cause havoc, basically. So in Florida, a great example of that would be the Burmese pythons and the tegus. And so over the course of over a hundred years, um, many species has been added to that. Fish, reptiles, birds, uh, mammals, you name it. Pretty much anything um, that you can think of is in there. The only thing this really doesn't affect are domesticated animals, um, dogs, cats, stuff like that. And in 2017, US ARC won a lawsuit basically stating that the act doesn't say anything about travel between states. For as long as anyone can remember, the government loves to try to ban whatever they possibly can. And currently, Florida in particular is looking to ban many animals that they just don't want to deal with anymore, whether they're actually going to cause harm or not. So this Lacey Act is buried in the American Competes Act, which I don't know anything really about the rest of the American Competes Act. I really don't care probably a bunch of Biden BS. That's all it really is. But the point is, is that this is buried in there. And some of the things that are really threatening about it are that the original... In the editing, I realized that um, I sounded completely ridiculous and what I was trying to say was shipment in the continental United States. Um, the wording that is going to be in there now is transport between the states. Shipment and transport are two really big things. Transport just means having at all, like in your car. Shipment, you can't ship something from one state to the other. So that would ban pretty much any movement of animals between states. You can't buy an animal from a different state. You can't ship it to the person, you know, somebody who lives in another state, even if you know them, it doesn't matter. It's the movement between states that's banned. Now that in and of itself doesn't outright ban the owning of these animals, bans the transport. So how can you get something from one place to another if you can't transport them between the states? You need to be granted permits basically to let you import in. And they are also going to make getting those permits a lot harder. And if it, if you don't have the minimum required amount of animals being shipped, you can't ship that animal. There literally has to be a certain number of those animals shipped annually and if it doesn't hit that number like you there's a new species and they're trying to ship it over um you can't do it because it doesn't hit that minimum threshold and the minimum threshold isn't even something that did, we don't know the number yet now on top of this florida is also doing something that um we kind of knew it would happen for a long time because florida or fwc in general doesn't really seem to value people's input as much as they say they do whether it be moving meetings around at the last minute so that the people who are trying to you know oppose something can't get their words out like for example i knew people who went to um when they were talking about land-based shark fishing whether they wanted to make it permanent or not they moved it around so that the people got there i believe it was an hour late to it 
and then they couldn't actually defend against the people who were going up there saying all these terrible things about land-based shark fishing and now there are permits required for it and yes it's free but it's just it's one thing leads to another they don't watch you doing certain things so they're going to make it very difficult for the word to get out there that people are actually proponents of it and whether we like to believe it or not the reptile community doesn't have as much reach outside of the reptile community as we'd like it to. So FWC is also talking about doing a white list and what that would mean is that the only animals that you can keep are animals that are on this list. Anything that's not listed on there is considered potentially injurious and you can't have them. So not only is there not going to be any interstate travel or shipment or of anything you can't get anything from out of state if someone doesn't have it here you can't have it but there's also going to be a new list of stuff specifically for florida you cannot own it's just it's not looking good it's really not looking good there are people fighting against it obviously us arc they are the best place to go to if you want more information on how to help go to their website it's usarc.org i'll put a link in the description but they are legitimately, you know, they, they've won battles with this before. I just hope they, you know, they can do it again. Um, they're really kind of our only hope with this. Um, besides, go, and get, go to their website, follow their directions on how to reach out to senators and, you know, send this to the right place. I know this video was a little bit more doom and gloom, but it's something that I needed to do some research myself to figure out because... I'm being told all this information, not sure what's what. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good rest of your day.